Hello guys, HackerCop here and today we're going to be creating the collision file for our custom track. To start off with, you're going to want to create a duplicate of your custom track blender file and open up your duplicated blender file here. And then we're going to go and we're going to start editing the material names to create our custom track. So I have two materials here, I have my road and I have my start line. Because these are made of the same material and gameplay, I want to give these the same collision flag which is how the game will render collision. So I'm going to go over to the wiki page to get the flag I need to put in here and then export it and compile it into a collision file using Weem's collision tools and then we'll be able to play our custom track on the Wii. So here's custom arrow cart, you can see it's April Fool's Day and so someone has changed all the fonts to Comic Sans which is quite annoying but only for this one day. So ignoring the Comic Sans I'm going to head over to this page called KCL Flag and I'm going to select road collision and these are all the collision flags we're going to use for the game so I want a road so you have the header here and then you have the effect so I want a normal road so I'll show you the formats here so for this road here I'm actually gonna press A and then tab into edit mode so I can form some of the editing more easily so I'm going to for my road here I want this to be a road so I'm going to double click this Type underscore zero zero for this part here, and then for this part, which is the road effects, it it needs to be to three significant figures. So I'm going to press another underscore, then zero zero, and then for my last digit, it's going to be one of these. So if I had six, this will be a road with a metal grate effect. This is when you're driving over, create a metal grate effect sound. But I want a normal road, so I'm going to type zero. Okay, and now I can give my start line texture a different material if I want to. I'm going to give it a different material for demonstration. But what you would normally do is assign this whole thing to a road, to this material here, and then assign that to a road. So for my start texture, I'm going to give it a, this can make it a boost panel. So underscore zero six, underscore with zero default, so zero zero zero. Okay. You should note that you, anything you cannot access in game, anything you cannot drive on, such as trees far away in the distance, for instance, you should not put collision on them. You should just remove the material. Because if you're not going to hit them, the only thing you're doing is increasing uh, CPU utilization. So I'm going to export this. So if I have multiple objects here, I need to press A and then Control J to join them all into one. Then I need to go into edit mode. Press A, P, separate by material. It's quite important to do this. Then I need to go to file. Export FBX and I'm going to call this KCL. This is very important KCL.FBX. And with these settings here, I'm going to review what I did last time. Copy, we want mesh only. Set my scale to 0 0.01. Okay. Export. So I've done that. I'm then going to open up a free software program called Autodesk FBX Converter. Autodesk made to convert 3D file formats, but it's completely free. I'm going to take my KCL file here, drag it in, and convert it to an OBJ. And I'm going to click convert. Once that's done, I'm now going to use some files. I'll link in the description. You'll need Weems KCL tools for this. I'm going to type, use these files. We're going to need these three files here, and I'm going to, which I'll put in the description, but you, if you search for them, you'll probably be able to find them in your Weems SLS installation. Let's place them in here, and I'm now going to take my kcl.obj, drag and drop it over obj kcl.bat, which is a Windows batch file, and it will now open up my command prompt and also execute the commands to convert my obj file into a kcl file for our collision, which is very useful. Okay, so now that it's finished, it says press any key to continue. I'm just going to hit enter and it'll close down the command window and we now have our collision file. It creates three files but the one we want is this one because I believe it removes upside down walls that you will not be seen in gameplay so it'll lower CPU usage. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into my beginner course folder we made from the last video. I'm going to then replace this with course KCL here with this. Just going to copy the name here, delete that, and rename this to course.kcl. And now one more thing we need to do 
before we drive on this is we need to set the start point and respawn point to the start line so we can actually drive in it. So we're going to go to core stock KMP here. You can see it's loaded my course model and if I here I have my starting points and I want to drag them onto start line of my collision file. Uh, it automatically snaps to it. I want to click on this, go to starting points and change our rotation. We want it to face this way, so I'm going to make it 90. So we'll start in the correct direction. And then we want to take our respawn point here. And put this also on. So if we fall off, we'll respawn. Change that to 90. And with our starting point, people are going to respawn in a straight line, the vehicles. So they're going to respawn across here. So they could end up, the people in last place could start here. So I'm actually going to rotate this slightly. Make that 100 degrees. Now we can save this. Open up the command line again. Go here and type CMD. Type Weems SDS tools. Create. And then B. And then I can press tab and it will fill it out for me. Beginner course D. And then press hyphen O. So if there's another file called beginner course SDS, it will overwrite that. Press enter. And now we have our SDS custom track. And now we can either run this on the Wii using CTGP My Stuff folder. This will go over Luigi Circuits, beginner underscore course, SDS. Or you can use Revolution. So I'm going to use a Revolution patch.